Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to make animations in Icon 8 and send it to Blender 4.4 and everything will just get it from Icon as Icon is a professional 3D animation software for humans and humanoid avatar which you can easily apply a lot of the lip sync facial expressions and include some of the body motions and you can export it Use the icon as the animation pipeline for your Blender or other 3D software like Unreal Engine. So start from now, I'm going to show you all the step-by-step -step from icon animations and avatar into Blender. Let's go! In icon, there are so many 3D avatar that you can choose it from here or any of the CC4 avatar. I'm going to just choose one of it as demo. So. First, I'm going to just choose this kit. Anyone else? Anything else? Alright, so I choose this kit. And next, I'm going to just apply some of the motions that are already in Icon. This is Icon 8. You can get it from my video description. So, I go to click here. Then I can choose some animation under the motion part human, male, for example, perform, just right click, animated thumbnail that I can see, alright, so I'm going to just choose the talk series and just have a look. Now it will include the animation. Right. So now I'm going to, to just check the keyframe here. I'm going to just fit to window to see. This is this this will be the range. I'm going to just drag it, drag the range to here. To somewhere here. Alright. So next I'm going to just move it here and just look at the actual size now. The last frame will be this, then done. Close the close it, then this is the range, the animation range. Have a look for one more time. We are going to export it and import into Blender. It will be really easy. Just have one more time the view. Alright, so now I'm going to just export as the FBX. I click file, export, FBX. The target to preset, I will just choose Blender, FPS 60. The range, I'm going to just choose the range. Embed the texture, then click export. Then, next I'm going to just export it on my desktop. Name this as the model 01, then I click save. It is going to export the FBX that's suitable for Blender. Now, now, it already exported as FBX. Now I want to import into Blender 4.4, the latest version. So I click the empty area, I press A and delete, delete everything from Blender. Next, I'm going to just drag in the FBX. Then click import to have a look to see where everything worked correctly which is included of the keyframes. I'm going to just turn on the material texture and have a look. Now I, I click turn on the texture and it should not responding just because of you need to wait for a few seconds if you are not using a really high-end computer. It may just still loading, just wait for a while. Now it already loaded, let's have a look. First, you can see so many reflection. The, the light of the reflection of the lights. You can just click here. The roughness just change it to become a higher value or lower value. Change it to higher value. Now it will be better. Try to play. You can see all of this animation already imported into Blender, and you can render the animation here. Right, so totally how many frames? Just click it, click the 
click the armature and have a look totally how many frames you can just adjust the, the number of frames at, at here the ends at let's say 2000 then have a check One hundred, one thousand and five hundred. So now, play. This will be the animations. So because of the iClone is a professional three D animation software which apply to the humanoid three D avatar, you can choose a lot of posts from here and even get from their marketplace and you can create the lip sync animations. And you can export the sound as well. So now. This is the way on how to just send it to send it to the blender 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 4.4 it is really easy and even in, in the blender if you have the 3d avatar you can send it to icron as well through this character created for all right that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import the blend the icon 3d animations with the 3D model into Blender 4.4 with the animations. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!